Hello everyone and welcome to another part of the anti-scripting tutorial. Uh, in this video we'll be talking about linear interpolation and you use it whenever you want to get an object from point A to point B in a specific amount of time and it always moves at the same speed. The speed is always constant. So let's take this scene for example. Uh, let's say we want to move this cube to wherever the sphere is when the scene starts and it should take an exa exactly the same amount of time every time to move from here to there. If the cube is further, it will still take the same amount of time to start from the starting position to where the sphere was when the level started. So since we will be using the cube and it's the one that we're going to be moving around, we need to create a script and attach it to that cube. Let's create our script, C sharp script, and let's call it learn. Once that compiles, we can attach our script to the cube and open up the script and see what we can do. So if we think about the problem for a second, um, what you need first, since this script is attached to the cube, the script only has access to where the cube is. It doesn't have access to where the sphere is. And since the transform of the sphere is the thing that always has the position of the sphere at all times, what we need is access to that transform. So let's create a public, a public transform and call it mTarget. Now if we go back to Unity and click on the cube, it should appear here and we just drag the sphere in there. Now that we have access to the transform of the sphere, we can get access to where it is. So let's create two vector trees. The first one will be the starting position and the second one will be the target position. And in our start, we will just set the starting position to our transformed opposition, which is the cube's position. And our target position will be equal to the target dot position, which is the sphere's position. Now, we also need to let it know how how long we expect to wait until the cube gets to where the sphere is. And to do this, we need to create another, well, a public float. And let's call it M travel time. So now that we have almost everything set up, all we need to do is just interpolate between these two points that we create. To do this, we are going to be using the vector 3.lerp function. And if I open this up here, as you can see, the vector 3.lerp, it takes in a vector A, which is the starting point, B, which is the end point, and T is the time that we're interpolating between. This time is always between 0 and 1. So if it's 1, it's at, it's at B. If it's 0, it's at A. And it always returns back a vector 3. So if we assign the cube's position to that lerp function, we should be able to move that cube's position over time from the starting position to the end position. So in the lerp function, let's give it the starting position, the target position, and now we're missing the timer. So we need to go back now and create a float m timer, and this timer will start at 0.0. .0 which is the starting position. The only thing we need to do now is to increment this timer over time. And to do this, we can just use the time dot delta time to increment. So if we have m timer plus equals time dot delta time, delta time is the frame rate, well, the, the time it took to render the last frame. So once this timer hits one, it means that one second passed. So if we go back to Unity and try to run a scene, as you can see, the cube should take exactly one second to get from its starting position to where the sphere is. But the problem now is that it's not using our travel time. Let's say we have our travel time as two seconds. If we run it, it should still take one second to get there because we're not using the travel time anywhere in our, in our script. What we can do, though, is take the timer and divide it by the travel time. So now if the timer is equal to 1, it will be 1 over 2, 
which is 0 0.5. When timer is equal to 2, it would be 2 over 2, which is 1. So that should make the cube now take 2 seconds to get to where the sphere is. But just keep in mind that now that we're dividing by travel time, if you set travel time to 0, now you're starting to divide by 0, and that's going to throw errors for you. So, And also, there is no need to really set uh, an interpolation with a travel time of 0, since you can just set the position to that, and that's going to give you the exact same uh, thing. And that should cover linear interpolations in Unity. Uh, if you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.